Hey guys, it's me and I'm back with my 13th vlog in my 30 days of vlogging series. I attempted to upload a video yesterday, but I ended up deleting it. So I am replacing it with this one. Actually, that means that this is only the 12th video in the series. So what I wanted to focus on today was um, some of the supplements I took during my Daniel's fast. And these are supplements that I'm going to continue to take now that I have used the Daniel's fast to kind of kickstart these new, um, you know, healthy eating habits and, and healthy lifestyle. Um, so one of the supplements that was really important to my to me while I fasted was um, taking this um, every woman's one daily multivitamin. You could use any multivitamin. I just to choose to um, take this one. I get it from Whole Foods, and it's it just works for me. Um, the reason it, taking a multivitamin as well as adding supplements to your um, fast, or if you're restricting your calories, or if you're doing a diet, or you know whatever it is you're doing, you're juicing only, or whatever you're doing, is because just juicing alone is not going to give you um, all the nutrients you need. Just doing you know um, a fast w alone will not give you everything you need. So that's why these things are really really important. So um, the other supplement I take is Rivestrol, and I was first introduced to this by um, my anesthetist. <laughs> She's from Brazil, and um, in my mid-30s, I had a really bad sort of stress um, breakout due to acne, and so she suggested I try this, but it has so many other benefits. It attacks free radicals in the bodies, you know, that causes disease and stuff like that. So this is a really, really great um, antioxidant to take. And I've just included it in my diet kind of moving forward in terms of supplements. The other thing I take is um, CLA. And this is really great for those of you who are working out as well. Um, and you're burning off a lot of calories. And, you know, you are, you know, or maybe you're restricting your diet in terms of number of calories or whatever you're doing. This is a great, great supplement because it's going to give you those good fats you need, right? So if you are cutting fat out of your diet, you know, you want to have your omega-6s and that kind of thing. And this delivers um, a great punch for, um, uh, to fill that requirement. So I'll talk a little bit more about this in greater detail. Um, as time goes on because I'm going to be introducing my workout kind of thing and and this is really closely tied to working out. Um, of course I have my um, my vegetables over here. I still have my oatmeal so that will continue to be a part of my um, my diet kind of moving forward. And then in the back here, my daughter did this last night. Um, we have a, an infuser for our water and so um, what she did was she cut up um, I think these are English cucumbers. Uh, we got these from Trader Joe's. They're not very um, expensive at all. Um, and I love them because they are small. They're probably about, oh, I can't do it on here. Okay, so they're probably about that long. And by that long, I mean they're probably six inches long. And so you can take them and eat them like, you know, you would do like a carrot or, you know, half a carrot or something like that and kind of munch on them. But she likes to use them to infuse our water and she actually also added um, peppermint tea. Normally I would, um, and she used a tea bag. So if you don't have, you know, fresh mint in your refrigerator, you can definitely use some of your organic um, peppermint tea and it will serve the same purpose. Um, sometimes we'll also infuse our water with uh, green tea, um, so we'll include that in the water, and that's really good because it's just good for um, you know your weight loss journey. That green tea, um, I would probably normally add some lemon to this as well, but you know she made this, um, and so this really helps me to keep my system flushed, and it really does help to. Um, to flavor water in case you get bored with it <laughs> and to just have some variety. So with each pitcher, we usually make a different and new blend and then we'll pour it. <laughs> we like to recycle everything. So I have not done my DIY on this yet, but my daughter was like, you know, we need to stop throwing out 
um, these glass jars or find another use for them because we keep them pretty regularly. And so I actually do. I make different types of oils and I will house them in this. I use this to house um, uh, beans and all kinds of stuff. And so I haven't put this through the DIY process yet where this label would be removed, but I'll do that in an upcoming video. But yeah, so I have my water in here now. So we're real country over here right about now. But um, yeah, so I hope this video was helpful and um, I will be back with a little bit more information on my purging pro project. I'm actually working on it now and um, so you will see my progress. All right, um, talk to you guys soon. Bye.